touch tables and touch screens as we use them are primarily accessible to the public in public spaces. So we have touch tables and touch screens in our cultural partners. We wanted to be able to develop software that the public could interact with and we were really excited by the fact that we could use touch tables to allow pretty large groups of people to access archival material in these spaces simultaneously. It does solve problems that are faced in public spaces. So it's not just a solo exercise between one person accessing information and exploring it alone. They're doing it collectively and we feel that it enriches the learning experience. What set MacDyne apart from competitors was the fact that they were actually able to deliver what we were asking for them to deliver. And it wasn't just about touch tables and the hardware, it was about the software integration. Your interactions are successful when the user doesn't even realise that they're having to learn a new interface. And that's one of the things we love about this technology, that it's super intuitive. This technology, though, offers us all kinds of opportunities beyond that. We're starting to explore how we can flick data between smartphones onto touch tables, how we can use smartphones or tablets to go around gallery collections and pick up digital versions of objects and then move them to a touch table, how we can move them across screens, even to think about how our students could be working in groups around multi-user, multi-touch interfaces and flicking data across the Atlantic to the other half of their group that might be in, say, Chicago. We built the space and then we discovered what it could really do. When you're doing something really new and really innovative like we're doing here in this space, there are going to be wrinkles with the technology. Things are going to need to be tweaked and, and that's quite a major commitment. Going a bit beyond what's required can go an awfully long way in it helping ensure that we can continue to get the most out of the major investment that we've made with the company. An engineer will come out pretty quickly and dissemble the table, take a look at it and fix it. And it's that, knowing that we can make a quick call and get a quick fix is really very important. I'll tell you how I measure the success of the technology. It's the number of smiling faces in the partner institutions when I go in and watch people interacting with the touch table. They're seeing an 80 year old having a conversation with a 17 year old that would never have happened if they hadn't both arrived at the table at the same time.